we're competitive in everything. Who goes to bed first? Who gets in the shower first? Everything. Seriously, everything. Who goes to the potty first? We'll run upstairs. I gotta go poo. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back and we posted on Instagram um, a Q&A question for you guys, for the both of us and you guys answered a bunch of good questions so we're going to try to answer those as quick as we can because we want to get through a bunch of them. Sort them by top comments, just so the ones top. that got the most likes are on top. <laughs> Jonas had the top comment, 17 likes. Who is a better athlete between you and your husband? 18 likes. Seriously? I'd have to go with me on this one. Um, who's the better not. gymnast? It'd be Michaela, all mm -hmm. around athlete. I'm pretty good too at something. But yeah, to answer that question, I'd say definitely me. Levitt says, when are you going to have babies? Can we plan it so we have babies at the same time? Eh. Um, I want to have kids as soon as possible. Probably a few years. No, as soon as possible. So it depends on if I'm done after the Olympics or if I go back to college for one more year and do gym. So it'll just depend on that. So as soon as I'm done with gym, I kind of want to start trying. Jonas kind of wants to like have freedom and travel a little bit first. So we'll see how that goes. What has been the hardest thing about being newlyweds during a global pandemic? Also, love and miss you. Love and miss you too. I don't think the pandemic had anything to do with anything hard being newlywed. Yeah, because I feel like I was still doing gym, you were working. If anything, it was better just because we spent more time here together. Yeah. Why haven't you done any live streaming yet? I don't know, that's a good question, Ben. Um, for what games? Yeah, for like Mario Party <laughs> or Animal Crossing. We? Yeah, we haven't done any live streaming yet, but we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> How do you keep a consistent night routine when you're tired, struggling with this? I struggle myself. Um, I feel like lately I've just been extra tired. I'm always tired because of gym. So I feel like when I get home, I just kind of do my thing, eat dinner, will maybe watch a movie, hang out, talk, and then I get ready for bed, and then I just try to hit the bed. We tried, doesn't happen every night, but me and him made a plan on trying to go to bed at like at least 10.30 every night. So just having someone, since I have Jonas, just help me to be more consistent with that. Is Jonah supportive of your gymnastics? In your videos, he sometimes seems really annoyed. <laughs> he does get really annoyed. I, I feel like I try to not be annoyed. I don't, I'm curious what video that is. I don't know, maybe I seem annoyed. I mean, he doesn't like coming to the gym a lot just because it, yeah. it's like a long time. It's like time. five hours of yeah. being at like, a, at like a dusty, chalky gym. I don't have food in there. I like it when he's there, but I'm I know just it's holding the camera the whole time. Yeah. I'm supportive. I, if I have to go to practice though, I'm probably annoyed, but dang, I, I feel like I hide it pretty well, so I guess mm -hmm. not. What is each person's number one love language? That's a good question. Mine's quality time. Mine's quality time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love time with Jonas 24-7 mm -hmm. actually. He probably gets annoyed because all I want to do is be with him, but I just like him more, I guess. Is your plan still to do your last year of college gymnastics after the Olympics? As of right now, I want to continue at the University of Utah. I'm just seeing how things are gonna go, just taking it one day at a time right now. So that's just kind of the plan, so we'll see what happens. Dream vacation spot together. Uh, that's a good one. Probably Hawaii. Hawaii, because I've never been to Hawaii or Paris. would be really fun. Okay, what was the first thing you thought when you were announced as a substitute gymnast for the 2016 Olympics? Um, honestly, it was such an emotional time. Um, I mean, I think it's really cool that I still was able to be an alternate, but it was really hard. It wasn't really tears of happiness. It was tears of feeling like I wasn't good enough. I did everything possible that I could to make this Olympic team, and I still didn't make it, even though I got fourth in the all-around. So it was just really difficult, and I kind of didn't want to be the alternate. I was like, what's the point? Like, I don't really want to go. But then I had to change my mindset and say, you know, like, if they need to put me in there, I want to be there for my team. And so I still went and competed as an alternate, but it was very, very hard. I don't think anyone will ever understand what it's like to be an alternate for the gymnastics, USA Women's Gymnastics team, unless you've been there and done it. So it was, it was hard. How old is Mello now? 
Mello's six months old. She's Is still she crazy. Really six months? Yeah, she's six months. I feel like she's been like five months. She Do you guys have tips for getting over mental blocks? Love you guys. We did make a YouTube video, so if you guys want to go look with my mental trainer, Clay, he can have some tips. And if you're looking for a mental trainer, you can also reach out to him. He's really good with that kind of stuff. How does Olympic training affect your relationship? Horrible. <laughs> Just I think it just makes Michaela stressed overall. Yeah, because I'm yeah. sitting here working hard and then he'll go and hang out with friends or go like on a bro's <laughs> trip or even when he's at work, he gets like nice meals and they get to do fun things even though they're working hard. And then I'm stuck here like working my butt off in the gym and I'm alone and tired and it's hard. But It's also hard because we can't do a lot of normal things that we'd like to do like... I really like hiking or outdoorsy stuff, but Michaela yeah, yeah. <laughs> is always just too tired after gym or doesn't want to like, you know, hurt her foot or something. Um, when you retire from gymnastics, which career do you intend to pursue? I am going to school for, uh, I've been out of school too long, for <laughs> um, sports broadcasting, so communications and journalism. That's what I wanted to do, so we'll see. I think it'd be cool to work with Pac-12 and then maybe NBC Olympics if I get good enough. Trying to get there on social media. I love posting things, working. I want to work with like companies, get my, my name out there, get bigger. Um, I think it'd be really fun to have my own leotard and athletic line. If you guys think that'd be cool, let us know. Um, we want to start a merch line. Um, I've just been really lazy, to be honest. I've been really lazy, so I just haven't gotten around to it. Doing gymnastics and trying to stay on top with social media and YouTube, it's hard. Hypothetically, if the Olympics got postponed another year and the injection didn't fix your Achilles, would you get the surgery? I don't really know because my foot's been doing decently well and it's hasn't gotten worse at all since I've been going back. It's been sore here and there. So honestly, it would just kind of have to depend on how it would feel pushing at full force before I decided to get the surgery. Favorite tournament to compete in? Honestly, I just probably have to say um, my first Worlds 2014 Nanning China. Took third place on vault and fourth on floor and we won team gold. So that was really, really cool and it was so fun competing for Team USA and getting that gold medal. There's no other feeling like it, so that was probably my favorite. If you had a baby today, what would its name be? If it's a boy, it's gonna be Jonas Harmer Jr. No, I, I've had so many friends steal my baby names after telling them, <laughs> so don't do that. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you the girl name because I don't want you to steal it, so. All right, you'll wait and see. Well, yeah. How do you feel knowing that you are an inspiration to so many people, a true example of strength, courage, and persistence? Persistence. Persistence. <laughs> Life's hard and I just want to be able to show you guys that you can get through it. Anything is possible. So I think it's really cool to be an inspiration to so many young people. I love it. It makes me happy. It's so fun to see all the girls and everybody that comment on my Instagram, YouTube, and just social media and in the gym. Just seeing all the little girls light up every time I walk into the gym. It's just been so fun and I definitely wouldn't trade it for the world. I love being able to use myself as an example to so many other people. What are your plans after college? So we both have about a year left of school. Babies. So <laughs> Babies. we should be done. We'll probably be done with school in a little over a year. And then, I don't know, I'll just be working. Michaela wants kids. Lots of babies. Okay, if you could live in another country, what country would you live in? Oh. Oops. I know this one. I've already done a lot of the research. I would want to live in Bermuda or the Bahamas because mm -hmm. it's tropical, weather's nice. nice, there's no income taxes. <laughs> mm. I would like to live in Australia. I've never been, but my mom's been and my brother, and it just looks so amazing and all the little koala bears and the kangaroos. Will you train one year again if the Olympics were postponed for the second time? Again, you kind of answered this. They say, it won't be postponed again. If it is. I, if it is, what would you do? I don't know. I might have a hard pass on now. You wouldn't do it? <laughs> I don't know. As you can tell, Simone and I have already struggled with this postponement already. <laughs> so, you'd have to let me have some time to think about that one. But, I don't know. It's, gymnastics is just freaking hard and I've done it for so long. So... What skill has given you the most problems mentally and what new skill are you most excited to debut this year? 
um, debut. Sorry, debut this year. Shut up, I don't care. I don't really know if any skills have been giving me like mentally right now. Honestly, I've just been out for a while, so just trying to like mentally get back into the swing of things. Um, new skill that I'm most excited about. Honestly, if I can get the Ray to the Baharwa, I don't know how you say it. Baharwa, Bahar, Baharwa. Sounds right. Or, I don't know. The Ray to the full twisting pack. I think will be pretty awesome, especially a big skill like that on bars would be fun. Do you guys plan on staying in Arizona? No, we're gonna be moving in September back to Utah. How has COVID impacted your life with the Olympics? Does it take a toll on you guys mentally? I don't think it mentally does on Jonas. Obviously it's put his life on hold because of me for certain reasons. So I guess it's been annoying probably, especially like with work and stuff, not being able to work a lot. But um, for me, I mean, yeah, it's just kind of sucked because, like, I wanted to go back to college and finish, and so it's just, like, annoying having a whole nother year. When you are chosen for the Tokyo Olympics, I'm sure you will be, ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Um, who would you like to have on the team? Man, I don't know if I could say that because I don't want to be rude to anybody, and I don't want to jinx anything. I'm not going to answer that one. I'll answer it when I make the Olympic team. Uh, okay, I just want to know how he keeps his hair so perfect. He's just perfect. Look at it's him. cocoa butter. He's flawless. I don't use gel. Cause... Yeah, but you... Some products that are nice too that I feel like you use that you like a lot. It's just cocoa butter. Whatever. What keeps your faith strong during difficult times? What helps you stay true to your standards even if others mock them? Um, so we're LDS, so we're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which a lot of you probably know as being Mormon. Being a member of the church and having faith in Christ in my life has made so many situations a lot easier and helped me to get through so many challenges. Um, I don't know, I think, you know, us reading our scriptures and we say family prayers and individual prayers, I think have helped a lot. Well, I think just need to have a solid foundation so that way when you know bad stuff happens especially for Michaela if you're a public figure because there's always going to be mm -hmm. haters or people saying stuff who cares what they think about you you stick to what sh what you know is right and just stay strong I'll just give one really quick example we were at Worlds we have like the after party kind of like banquet thing and obviously like you know that a lot of the athletes are older so some of them drink and they're like hey like give me two more shots for like me and Simone and Simone's like Michaela doesn't drink don't give her that so like Simone's been really awesome about sticking up for me or oh she doesn't drink so you know don't bug her so that's been really nice too um just having friends at least know about your standards so they can help stick up for you as well how did y'all meet so my friend Emma that I met um uh, my freshman year in my writing class I knew her from high school so yeah, we met through Emma. She was the one that connected us. Do you want to te teach gymnastics or otherwise work in the sport once you retire from competing? I get asked this all the time. I don't really see myself coaching like soon, maybe kind of in the future. I definitely want like a break from gymnastics and to just like enjoy life away from it just because I've been in it for so long. It's so fun because at the gym, I love like all the little itty bitty babies and the compulsory girls, they're so cute. And so sometimes it's fun kind of coaching them a little bit um, or how they always want me to coach them. I think they're so cute, but I don't know if I'd like always enjoy coaching the younger levels. I'd probably want to coach like optional or college I think would be really fun. So I don't know, maybe. Since it's in your picture, oh, this was on my Instagram picture. What's your favorite milkshake? Oh, mint chocolate yeah, chip. Yeah, I was saying, it's both of ours. Mint chocolate <laughs> mint chip. Mint chocolate chip, Some so good. Some whipped cream on top. Yep. Um, what is your favorite memory competing from Utah and your most memorable, co mem memorable college routine? Favorite college routine was my freshman year competing at Pac-12s and I got my first 10 on floor. That was seriously like the coolest moment and I was like crying and I was all emotional and I'm like why am I so emotional over the same routine that I've done all season? But it was the coolest experience and it was so fun. Um, and I think my favorite memory competing at Utah is just competing in the Huntsman Center 
with all the girls having 15,000 plus fans standing there cheering you on, watching you. It is the coolest feeling and it's so unreal. And I know a bunch of other girls from other teams when they come into our arena, they just can't believe how many fans we have and like how cool it is. So that's like my favorite memory. If you got a dog, what kind love your YouTube videos? We pretty much already have a dog though. It's yeah, name is Mello. Mello. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't realize, I mean, we kind of realized she would be extra work because she's half wild. But let me tell you, she's like having a dog. She's a dog. Except yeah. you don't have to take her out to go to the bathroom. What's y'all favorite Bible verse though? Ooh. What's your favorite Bible verse? Um, you probably know what it's in because I can't remember right now, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ephesians. I uh, think. Uh, Let me look. Philippians, I was close. <laughs> Especially during gymnastics. I feel like I can always turn to that and think of that in my head. So. Mine's in 2 Kings um, 6, 16, I think. But it's the one about chariots of fire. Basically, if you're with God, there's more people on your team than on the enemy team. So that's my jam. What's the biggest obstacle you have faced as a couple? Probably the temperature in our home. <laughs> Because I like it really cold and Michaela likes it really hot. Yeah, I like it cold when I'm sleeping sometimes, unless it's too cold because I can bundle no, up I'll, and snuggle with you. But... I'll turn on the fan before we go to bed and she'll turn it off. <laughs> then I'll wake up sweating. <laughs> I want Michaela to win gold all around at the Olympics. Heart, me too. What would she most likely want to win gold on? So I guess besides all around, if you <laughs> pick an event. Um, probably floor or vault. Floor is my favorite event, and I just I think it'd be so cool to get a gold medal on floor, um, or maybe even bars, but floor especially. When did you realize you wanted to go elite for gymnastics? I didn't really know much about it when I was that young. I didn't really know how all of it worked. You know, I just kind of knew like, oh, the Olympics, like watching on TV, you know, like that's something I'd want to do. Like I want to be, go to the Olympics, you know, but, um, Never knew how hard it was or how crazy Marta was or how horrible camp was and somehow I did it but yeah that's kind of when I started doing elite when I was like 12, 13 that's kind of when I knew once I went to Desert Lights that I had the opportunity to possibly go to the Olympics so that's when I wanted to do elite. How does it feel knowing you might not make the Olympic team? I mean that's always in the back of my mind I'm pretty sure that's in a lot of people's head all the time um, just because you know there always is that chance you either make it or you don't and especially you know being so close last time um, and knowing what it feels like it's so disappointing after all that hard work you know especially after coming back and now taking two years out of our lives to do this it would be like really disappointing but honestly I think for me it was just to come back and try one last time especially since I didn't make you know, the Olympic team before as an alternate. So I think just being able to prove to myself that I could do this one last time and just give it everything that I got before I can't ever do gym anymore. So um, I think it will be sad if I don't make it, but whatever happens, I feel like happens for a reason and there's still life after gymnastics. So whatever happens, I'll still be happy with myself, but it'll probably take me a couple months to like kind of get over it if I don't make the Olympic team. Does John Spini still coach or is he retired? John's retired. He's retired. He still comes in though to the gym sometimes. Yeah, he coached me a lot during 2016. He's the best, but yeah, he's retired. He doesn't really ever come in. He comes in once in a while and just says like hi and stuff, but he's not really coaching me or anything like that. What has been the hardest part of recovery? I think the hardest part about recovery is it's crazy that being an athlete, no matter how many times you do something or you've done the sport your whole life, your body still hurts. And for me, it's like sucks going into gym the next day with like my body being sore and then trying to push through it. It's hard, but I know it will make me stronger. How long do you think till you'll be wanting to try for kids? Are you planning on buying a house or even thinking of moving to a different area entirely? So we already talked about kids. We want to have kids as soon as I can when I'm done with doing gymnastics. Okay, we're... We haven't decided yet. Yeah, we've decided. We already know. Uh, yeah, we're buying a house, so we'll be buying a house in Utah this fall. And we don't know if we'll stay there forever, 
Well, we're obviously not going to stay in that house forever, but we'll stay there for like two or three years. And then well, we'll probably where... be in Utah for... Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. That's where my work is. That's where family and friends are. I love Utah. It's just too cold. But It is kind of cold. This is one of my favorite questions. I could have asked this question. How on earth can you afford so many clothes? Your Poshmark is insane. Do you shop whenever you're not training? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do have a shopping problem. That's yes. an understatement, yeah. But it's nice because then I can sell my clothes on Poshmark when I get tired of them. Then I make more money and then I can buy new clothes or I can save that and use that towards other stuff. But yes, I do love shopping. I have a shopping problem. But I feel better about selling my clothes on Poshmark than them going to waste or going into the garbage. I know you can donate them, but sometimes not all clothes get bought. So I like being able to have the chance to have people buy them, let other people enjoy them, and you get them at a cheaper price. So it's a yeah, win-win. Yeah, so this closet is full. I have a little corner for my clothes. And then at her parents' house, that closet's full. And there's a closet full of leotards. Mm -hmm. And there's bins. Mm -hmm. Okay, your mom says, and what non-athletic activity like cards, board games, etc., not arm wrestling, are you and Jonas most competitive? Literally everything. So mm -hmm. even not the things you mentioned, Elaine, but we're competitive in everything. Who goes to bed first? Who gets in the shower first? Everything. Seriously, everything. Who goes to the potty first? We'll run upstairs. I gotta go poop. TMI, whatever. Too much information. <laughs> Too much information. Oh, no, this one's a good one. Every time we get out of the car, open the garage, lock the doors. Last one in is rotten egg. So, pretty much everything. <laughs> or who gets to the car last, has to drive. Or who can run to the passenger seat. The yeah, then the I end fastest. up having to drive anyways, so that's yeah. not a real one. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite skill on each event? Floor... Probably my tuck double double or triple double for upgrade. Beam, probably say flick full series. Vault, I like doing the chain. And bars, I mean, I've always liked doing tacaches because that was like my first big release that I learned and it's always been in my routine for the most part. Um, but I also like doing dismounts off bars. Are you nervous for training camp? Um. I feel like I always get nervous just because the standards are high, especially that I keep for myself and I want to do really well. So I just want to look my best. So I am pretty nervous. Who's your stylist? Because your outfits are always fire. Thank you. I dress myself, actually. Uh, funny. I say, no, the question was for you. I know, but I do dress you. <laughs> Every bus. time I buy him clothes, he's like, oh, well, you should pick out my clothes more often. I do post some stuff on my Instagram or on my Insta story so you guys can check that out. There's a swipe up link usually or a discount code or whatever where I get something. So if that helps, you guys can use that too. What is your favorite sport to watch besides gymnastics? Basketball. At least for me, it's basketball. Michaela doesn't really watch any sports, right? So she watches what I watch. And then during the Olympics, I like, like winter Olympics, like ice skating, snowboarding, and then summer Olympics, I like to watch like diving and the swimming and. How many kids do you want? Four Two. or five. Uh, four or five. Where do you want to live raising a family? Arizona. Utah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see you training and healing so well from COVID and your Achilles. Just Curious, is your gymnastics training, medical treatments, therapies, etc., provided as part of you being a world class athlete and Olympic hopeful, or do you and Jonas cover those expenses? Um, it's kind of a mix. Michaela gets a stipend from being on the national team, and then you got health insurance through USA Gymnastics, USA gymnastics but it doesn't cover everything. Um, so Jonas pays so. for some of it. Yeah. <laughs> is Michaela constantly being stared at and hit on? LOL, she's so freaking cute. Eh. Oh. I don't know, yes, probably. I feel like I get some interesting DMs. I don't know if people necessarily stare at me because I'm cute, although today was Valentine's Day and I got a lot of cute, or a lot of people telling me my dress was really cute, so that was really nice, but I think a lot of people will stare at us just because I'm so short and Jonas is so tall. Does Jonas ever get tired of filming you at the gym? Yes. <laughs> he does all the time. Yeah, definitely. Who do you talk to most on the national team? Um, probably Jade, Suni, Simone, 
And I think that's kind of it. Those are like the main ones I talk to. Since you're an Olympic gymnast and well-known in NCAA, do you get recognized easily in public? I feel like it's a yes and a no. I feel like a lot of people recognize me, but they don't want to come up to me because I think they like are nervous too or feel awkward coming up. But a lot of times, if they do come up, they go, oh, are you Michaela? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, I only knew because Jonas was here. <laughs> Every time. And they mention yeah. the height difference. Yeah. I guess so, we stand out either I mean, that way. I probably look different with my hair down than I do, like, for gym. Because a lot of people know me as a gymnast. So I feel like I just look different. And I think some people don't really realize how short I am. Like, they know, like, the height difference between us. But, like, on TV and stuff, people are like, oh, my gosh. Like, seeing you on TV, you look so much taller than you are in person. So... Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's kind of hard to tell that way too, but... So if you ever see me, don't feel scared. Come and say hi. Are you ever going to write a book? So once I'm done with my gymnastics career, I'm going to start writing a book and get that published. If that's something you guys would like, comment down below and let me know because if I write a book and you guys wouldn't want to read it, I'd feel kind of stupid. But <laughs> that's the plan. I would love to write a book and talk about my gymnastics story because I feel like it is very different than anyone else's and I can't wait to talk about all my stories and share everything with you even the dirty little secrets so oh. a lot of people are asking if you're gonna go to worlds if you don't make the Olympics or even if you do because uh, worlds is supposed to be at the end of this year is that on the table um probably not because school starts in like September at Utah, I think. And we both have to go back to Utah and start our lives. So I will not be living in Arizona at that point. And I just don't think I really care. I've already been an alternate like four times and I would not want to try to go and make that and be an alternate again. So that's like a no for me, I'm good. I've been to Worlds, I've done it. Sorry we couldn't get to all the questions, but thanks for those of you that did ask. If you have any other burning questions, leave them below. We'll probably do another one of these eventually. Yeah, you guys had some really good questions. I always love doing a Q&A. If it was me, I could talk for hours. Chris hates it, but I could. If you want to, put a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.